Hello everybody, it's Chris Below with a new video and for this video we're gonna be doing a, another unboxing. Let's go! Welcome to Chris Below's channel. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great Here's the Mac MacBook Pro 2020 It's uh, 13 inches and I already took the plastic out so, so it'd be a lot faster Here's a box. Here's the box that it came from it looks so big, but it's actually pretty skinny Look, this is my Comparable to the air it Looks real small Here's the MacBook Air that I had in like 2017 It's the same size, but the way it looks like right now, it's, uh, this, one, this one looks smaller. This is the screen. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here. It's real small. I just got a cover. I'll, I'll eventually get a cover for this one too. the screen right here and right now it's turned on by itself maybe I press the power button and here's the charger the USB-C it's different now that's why um, you need an adapter when you're attaching the to use English as the main language press the return key all right uh, I'm gonna be speaking English anyway so <laughs> And then I have Tagalog in here. Oh no! No Tagalog. So English it is, right? Well, here's a charging cable. And um, like I was saying, it's a, it's a different USB now. It's the USB-C that they're using for this new one. Not like the old ones. It's just regular USB. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press the command key while you press touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. To learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Whatever. <laughs> and then I was, uh, took me to the Wi-Fi screen. See if I can remember our Wi-Fi password. What? Because the other ones I have is automatic. You know, it's automatic once you uh, log on. And let's see if I can log on. What's our password? Just trying to log on right now, so I'm gonna explain why I'm, I got a new uh, Mac Pro. I was using this for a few years. This was the 2011. Back then, for what I was using it for, it was working fine. Not until I was started going to school, and all of a sudden it stopped working for me. And then I was wondering what what was wrong. They told us, yeah, it's kind of old. You know, you needed to upgrade to a newer one. So. I got this one when I was going to uh, University of Phoenix because I had to do like research and I had to use a lot of uh, Microsoft programs like Excel and and the Word, Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. I had to do a lot of research and writing essays, so we bought this one. But after a few years, you know, I started doing YouTube. This one. So, um, every time I'm trying to edit so like they'll tell me like my memory was full so I was trying to figure out what was wrong with it and um, I looked at the what was wrong with it with the memory or nine gigs of uh, pictures and like eight uh, gigs of music so I had to delete that or move it to the cloud but then when I started editing with uh, the Final Cut Pro it was uh, still it got kind of slow and the rendering was was slow, so I decided to get this one. So my next edit will be on this one, and we will try and see how fast how fast uh, my editing will be using this computer. By the way, it is uh, let's see what the description is. We got already. 
it is the 16 gig of uh, memory for RAM and the one terabyte of uh, SSD so it should be fast and it should be good with memory for a while until I, until I download a whole bunch of more music and, and pictures and videos but I should be getting an external hard drive and like what I was saying since uh, you need a USB-C I already got the I already pre-ordered the, the USB-C cord or the adapter we'll see how it looks see how it will go in there there's the box and it looks like a like a little mini external hard drive right here it should have like a few slots for uh, different applications that you will do looks like a like a little Wi-Fi box so here it is and then you just insert it here and then you can go to work right there oh I can I guess I could he has a thing for the SD SD card so I can Put the SD card here and put my external hard drive and work, transfer my videos and pictures and all that. So it's just one one thing I can do right here. So where would I put the mic or the headphones down? Looks like it's small. Where's the headphone slot? Back again. I got the headphones here now. Output should be ready. Let's see. All right. Let's do it right there. This will be the right one because nothing else will fit in this so And I got the external hard drive right here. It's asking me to transfer any information, so I want to see. It. And then I want to see what, what it will do. It's been a while since I've done something like this. From the Mac. Alright. I don't know what kind of video this is going to turn out into. What is this? Came with a USB C thing. So it's got like a little bag, you know, so when you travel, you got a little bag for, uh, for that thing. That's about it, guys. Hope you like this video. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace. Thank you for watching today's episode uh, hit the like and subscribe and hit that notifications button so you can be updated the next time we have a vlog thank you